What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. And today, you already know, I guess I say tonight, morning, whenever y'all watching this video, I know it's a late upload, but I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks, and that was a tough loss, y'all. Tough loss for a few reasons. One, and obviously the biggest reason, Trey Young suffered a what seems to not be as severe now, ankle injury, because x-rays did come back negative, so at least no structural damage, thank goodness he is gonna have an MRI today. He might already had it by the time you guys see this, um, but he is having an MRI, and hopefully he won't miss too much time, but still, that's a big blow. Now, Brandon Goodwin did do a good job, and he went 3-0 and through a 3-1 and as the Hawks starting point guard, so we'll have him, we got Lou Will, Bogey has been playing lights out. We'll get more on him in a second. And then, oh, there's more. Clint Capella went down. Even though he was able to stay in the game, he did suffer an injury to his lower back, tailbone area. I think it was more the lower back. Like I said, he was able to stay in the game for the overtime. He obviously was in some very much discomfort, but... He was able to stay in the game. Didn't miss any time for this game, but when that back tightened up tonight, he wake up in the morning like, oh boy, him. he might miss some time as well. So two big injuries to the Hawks, really two most important players, arguably, thus far. So that's really tough. And then to close it all out, we lost the game in overtime. Knicks take fourth place. They get the season sweep on us. They win their eighth game in a row. So just a tough night for the Hawks. Tough loss, especially after such a gutty performance. Down, we were in control when Trey got hurt. I think we were up 10 or 11, 9, something like that. Somewhere around that number. And Trey goes down. They come back. They go up 7 in the fourth quarter. We come back. Bogey makes a huge 3 to tie the game up. John Collins made a huge 3 to tie the game. Julius Randle got the go-ahead bucket. Uh, Bogey comes back, ties the game at 122. Solomon Hill puts the clamps on Julius Randle to get this uh, to get the stop to force it the overtime, and then the Knicks just come out like they were this whole entire game, just stupid wet from the three point line. I mean, it didn't make no sense how wet they were. Julius Randle made six threes. Reggie Bullock made six threes. Emmanuel quickly made like four threes. They were just wet from the three-point line or not. So at some point, you just got to tip your Simone with the sports hat to them. And I mean, it is what it is. It's a tough loss. But the main thing is, guys, hopefully Trey isn't out too long. I mean, can we catch a break? Y'all, you already got, we ain't seen Chris Dunn the whole season. Y'all got Bogey for the first part of the season. You got Delanilo for most of the season. You got DeAndre Hunter for most of the season. You got Cam Reddish for most of the season. Like, injury bug, can you just chill out on that? Can you let us get healthy so we can make this nice playoff run? Like, can we not have nice things this season? Like, what's up? What's up? Is the man above against us? Like, what's going on? What did we do? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm repenting. Please let the Atlanta Hawks at least get healthy. Goodness gracious. So we'll see. Hopefully, Trey and Clint don't miss too much time. Maybe Clint, fingers crossed, doesn't miss too much time. Because, I mean, Clint Capella, even with the injury, he went down. Even when he went down with that back, that injury, he still came back, got a put back rebound, got some big buckets um, towards the end, made some big rebounds, finished the game with 25 points, 22 rebounds. I mean, he's getting 20, 20 games on the reg now. Getting 17, 16 plus rebounds on the reg now. It's like a game to game thing for him. He just said, I do this. I mean, we got to start talking about this, guys. Clint Capella is arguably the, mo the most valuable player on this team. That's even including Trey Young. Mind you, Trey Young is tough because obviously Trey Young makes his thing go. His assists have been going up, 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 up this entire season. He makes, he's the engine. 
But Clint Capella just finishes the job. And he does the dang thing with the rebounds, gets the points, the hustle points. And Clint Capella doesn't have any plays called for him. I mean, he might get the pick and roll action, the alley-oop. But that's it. Otherwise, his points just come off a straight hustle. And whatever he gets, whenever he gets the ball on the low post. But Clint Capella doesn't have any plays run for him. Man, McMillan ain't really drawing up no plays for Clint Capella. He's still out here balling 2020 games. Doing it with a sore back, a stiff back. Come on now. Now, I know that happened towards the end of the game, but still, it was a gutsy effort by Clint Capella today. Again, Bogey has been playing lights out. Got to shout out Bogey. Made the game time three. Obviously made some threes down the stretch. Four threes. I believe it was 410 for tonight. All the starters finished in double figures. Even Trey, he, he did play 30 minutes. Um, He only finished the game with 20, though. But everybody finished in double figures. John Collins had a good game back. Obviously, he hit, he hit the game time three, but... Guys, still the the big the big news is Trey going down, Clint going down. Hopefully, both of them guys don't gotta miss time. And if they miss time, these boys need to come back. Chris Dunn, you need to come back. You ain't you ain't been here the whole season. You ain't played the whole season. Ain't nobody seen a Hawks jersey yet. You need to go ahead and come on with the come on, so we can at least start you at point guard. My goodness, DeAndre Hunter, it's time for you to come back. Cam Reddish, I ain't heard a peep out of you. What's up with you, bro? You need to come back, too. Danilo, where you been at? Even though you're not really going to start our guard problem, so it is what it is with you. But DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Chris Dunn, we need you back right about now. And Danilo, we slick need you back, too, because if Clint going to miss some time, we're going to need somebody down there. I know you ain't nowhere near as Clint Capelli. You ain't going to block no shots and nothing like that. But we just need bodies at this point. So I'm going to need these guys to come back. I'm going to need us to get healthy. <sighs> Got me stressed out. Mm. But I, I, silver lining, it was a gutsy effort, even without Trey Young coming back down from seven in the fourth quarter, tying up the game. Like I said, Bogey has been lights out. He's been clutch these past couple of games. Really, this whole month, Bogey's just been on a tear. So, shouts out to Bogey, really seeing what we wanted to see out of him all season long. You can really tell he's in a, in a rhythm and in a groove now. So, that's good because we're going to need that. We're going to need what we need. We're going to need Lou Will to be Lou Will these next couple of games, especially if Trey's going to miss some time. So let's try to get that four seed back. Let's string some wins together. I mean, we're still seven and three on our last 10, so it's not bad. But this one just hurts extra, extra tough. It's a super hard gut punch just because of the way you lost in overtime, losing Trey and losing Clint, uh, not losing Clint Capella, but Clint Capella getting hurt as well. So. It's a tough one, guys. I was hoping I'd be able to get on here and be super excited about Hawks coming back in overtime with no Trey Young and a banged up Clint Capella and the Braves won too. But alas, I mean, we did get a Braves win, but tough night for the Hawks. But it's going to be all right, guys. 13 games left in the regular season. Still a very, 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 very good shot that we're going to make the playoffs. Um, don't want to be in a playing round. We got a big game coming up against Miami. We'll see who's all out there to take the floor. Hopefully, at least Clint can pay, but I'll see Trey. If I had to bet, probably not going to play. He probably is going to miss a couple of games, a few games, actually, so three plus. But we'll see, though, and we'll see what that MRI says tomorrow or today or whenever you see this video. But make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you're worried about the Hawks and these injuries. Let me know what you guys think. Are we going to be able to weather this storm? Are we going to drop a couple extra games because of the loss of Trey Young and possibly even Clint Capella? Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you're new here, appreciate you hopping in and tuning in. Make sure you check out my other vids as well. Um, make sure you check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Hawks to some health and more wins. And also make sure you check out this second a uh, link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast with me and girl Simone with this bizorts, as she likes to say. Talk to your favorite former and current athletes, head coaches, reporters, analysts, hosts, anchors, all that good stuff. So make sure y'all search Tough Calls, any of the Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Check out Tough Calls and don't miss out on the good content. And uh, make sure you shop some more of the sports merch, too. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Look at the hat. Y'all know y'all like it. Y'all know y'all want it. So go ahead and shop some more with this Bizzorts. And uh, again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay true to Atlanta. Everybody take a deep breath. I'm trying to stay calm, but it's hard. The injury is the way they lost. We're not in fourth no more. Mm. 
But we're going to be all right, guys. We're going we gonna to make it do what it do. We'll see what happens Friday against Miami. Another team that's been pretty good thus far. I think they won like three in a row. So we'll see. But until I talk to you guys next time, stay strong and peace. Bye. There's Simone for you.